welcome back to another MNS tutoring video and in this video we're going to learn how to maximize the volume of a rectangular prism and minimize the surface area of the rectangular prism. So first of all let's start with how we can maximize the volume of a rectangular prism given the surface area. So one thing we have to remember when maximizing the volume is that the dimensions of the length, width, and the height have to be equal. So we can say that the length is equal to the width is equal to the height. When all of these three things are true, we know that the rectangular prism can be a cube. And just like the rectangle, a square has the optimal perimeter and the area. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the rectangular prism to have dimensions as per a cube. So now that we know that L is equal to W is equal to H, we can use the surface area formula and isolate for either one, uh, either L, W, or H to find either one of the dimensions for the rectangular prism. So the surface area formula for a rectangular prism is 2 factored WH plus LW plus LH and since we know L is equal to W and W is equal to H, instead of W and H, we can just simply write L. So the S surface area formula can also be written as 2 factored L squared plus L squared plus L squared. Right? And L squared plus L squared plus L squared is, of course, 3L squared right so now it's 3 factored 3 L squared and when we simplify this even further we get 9 L squared for the surface area formula so oh sorry I made a mistake over here instead of a 3 it's a 2 outside the bracket so instead of 9 it will be 6 L squared for the final surface area formula so now that when we're given a surface area and we know to maximize the volume, we can just simply plug in the surface area right over here and we can solve for L, giving us both, giving us all three, in fact, L, W, and H, right? So now that, now that we know how to maximize the volume given the surface area, how can we minimize the surface area when given the volume? Well, it's really quite, quite similar to maximizing the volume. We just have to use the volume formula instead of the surface area formula. The volume formula is, is simply just L times W times H. So all the dimensions and you have to multiply by each other. But if you remember previously, we know that it has to be a cube. So L is equal to W and W is equal to H. So basically, we can write the volume is simply just equal to L cubed, right? So now that we know the volume is equal to L cubed, we can simply just solve for L as we have the volume and use L to find the surface area, which, is, which will be the minimum surface area in the cube. After finding L, you can find all the dimensions because, as I mentioned before, L is equal to W and W is equal to H. And for, for this video, that's the end. If you have any comments or concerns, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.